Hey guys, what is up? No gym needed here. Today, we're gonna look around for some parkour challenges and try to complete them. Challenges, ooh, pretty bird. Eventually, when we get a community going on this channel, I can essentially, uh, that was cute. I can essentially make a community post and ask you guys what kind of challenges you would like to see me do, that type of thing. But yeah, we're still building it up, so until then, Let's get it! Let's train! Okay, I was trying to think of a warm-up. I eventually brought these two logs to the front yard. Very difficult. And we're just going to see how far we can jump with plyos and strides. And yeah, maybe see what else we can do after that. I want to get a good stick to good flip. Oh, that's really hard to stick. I'm gonna move it back a little bit now. I don't know what to do now. I don't want to keep moving it back really. The run up is a little bit weird with that bump. Uh, I kind of want to hit that full again though. <sighs> so let's get a different angle and try that one more time. Oh. Alright, let me just try a pop full off it first and then go back and try it again. Okay, that was good enough. I'm getting more warmed up now, so let's try again. Okay, I'm gonna give it one more good attempt, <clears throat> and then I'm gonna get into some plyos. By the way, it's burning hot out here. I switched into shorts. Wink! Don't do that right when I land. Stop it. No. Wait, no, you need to stop. Ah. I don't blame her for that. I didn't even, I zoned her out on that last one, so it was just my lack of skill. But yeah. All right, let's do some plyos. What are you gonna do when you come out here? What are you gonna do when you come out, huh? What? Stop that. You're gonna you're gonna break the screen. Stop. Hey, stop that. Even if it's a little wobbly, it's all good. It's good enough. I'm gonna get a measuring tape so we can actually know how far it is. Okay, I just measured it. It was 8 feet 11 inches. We're gonna make it a little longer now. Got that. Oh, that's scary. I'm gonna try one more time. I can definitely do that. One more try. Okay, I need to measure this and see how how long it is. Okay, so it's basically about 10 feet exactly from where I'm jumping to where I'm landing. I know I've done a little more than 10 feet before, level jump, but that was when I practiced these a lot, so I hopefully at least want to get one here. I'm gonna take that and we're gonna move on. Guys, no matter what I do, I just don't feel like my head is in the game today. I can't get warmed up. Like, 
You know what I mean? Even if I get warmed up, I'm just not feeling good. But if I could do one really cool thing that I haven't done before, hopefully it'll turn this day around into a really good one and we can get started from there. So I'm going to I'm gonna try this gate again, to be honest. There's no reason why I shouldn't be able to do it. So I'm going to try to do it onto this little mat I made here. And yeah, maybe take away the mat slowly if we can get it. Let's see. Every, att every attempt I'm going to look at the video and try to refine it. Okay, my kick was half-hearted and I didn't even tuck, really. So let's try again and let's try to get a better kick and a better tuck. All right, that was better a little bit. Mainly, I just got a really hard kick, which I don't like to do because that's not the best form. But uh, we're going to try to get this one way or another. Okay, looking back on that, I wasn't expecting that kick to drive me so high. <laughs> I actually got scared because I went so high. So um, I'm going to try that technique again, to be honest. It's giving me what I want. If I had held that tuck, I would have just landed it. So let's go ahead and try that again. Okay, I need to get the feel for that. Let me look at it. I definitely feel a little guilty about kind of doing a, run, a running gainer into it, but forget it. I have to do gates on more setups and just keep branching out. And I have to do the gate in any way I can first. Okay, that's the important thing. And as I branch out, I'll be able to understand the nuances that I'm missing right now in my head. Because I can do gates with perfect form on so many different setups for instance at Tempest and other places. We're not talking about sitting gates. But on this setup, like I can't do it. Like I just can't do it. So let me get this first. Let me do this a few times, get it mastered and get it out of the way. And then hopefully I can upload some new information on this trick. Oh, there we go. There we go. Getting more comfortable. Okay, let's try some more. Oh no. Let me try again. That one felt really good when my hand slipped off the log, I guess, and I couldn't grab my tuck. So, let's try again. Yes! Yes! That's the first one out of the way. I'm not sure if you could tell, but my hand didn't touch, so that's good. Now, we're going to try to... I want to do another one on the same exact setup, and then I'm going to move away the padding uh, with the blue mat, or whatever that is, the blue blanket and the padding, okay? Yeah. Go. Yeah. Go. All right, I'm taking away the padding from the. Let's go. Let's go. I really don't like that kick, to be honest with you. It feels like I'm cheating, it, and it gives you like this really weird sideways axis. But that's good for now. Um, I'm gonna take the mat away now and let's try it. I'm gonna wait for the music to get to the good part, and I'm gonna go for it. No, wait up, I'm too scared still. So. All right, all right. There's levels to this. I, I gotta be careful. I don't skip levels. <laughs> I have to be honest here. I feel like I'm gonna like go to throw it and then freeze up and then just land on my butt and we're back or something. So let me master it. Oh, a little ladybug. Can you see it? It's crawling on my hand. Uh, I want to master onto the white mat. Do like five in a row, and then I'll try. Gotta stop being a chicken. Well, I landed it. I need like five of those. So let me get a different angle for you guys. The only thing close to the wood at all is my knee. Um, the beginning of my t the beginning of my gate. The technique is horrible. Ugly is just horrible. But uh, the ending of it, and like the, the late middle part of it, is perfect technique. Like I'm going over my head, like very nice. But uh, yeah, 
I'm getting thrown off because that weird first kick is not how you usually do a gate. And it gives you this crazy axis point, uh, axis of rotation, that's what it's called. It gives you this crazy axis of rotation and uh, you just kind of get like, whoa, whoa, for a second. And anticipating that before I even do the trick when there was no mat is what's giving me like the heebie-jeebies and making me think I might freeze up. So yeah, I want to get over that. I want to keep doing some more and assure myself there's nothing to fear, at least here. I got height on that one. That made me feel more comfortable. Okay. I'd like to land a little higher, but I don't know, man. I'm still not feeling like I'm in the zone. That was my best one. I literally didn't push off at all. It was like falling the whole time. And that actually felt pretty cool. I think I just kind of like, not a, oh, I blocked. I did like a block, but I didn't push off at all. All right, let's try again. Oh. Okay, now it's getting really easy. I'm just gonna keep doing it. I'm just gonna keep doing it. Let's go. Actually, the song's over. Let me pick a new song. All right, try a few more because I'm still not 100% confident at all. I'm consistently not touching. Let me try to get another angle that you haven't had yet. That was like the best one. I'm getting more confident now. Let's try another one. I just missed my tuck. I went for it and my hand slipped. That's definitely something that happens a lot in parkour that you don't really hear about. But if everything else is right and you slip on your tuck, it could be really bad or it could just be like whatever and mess you up a little bit. But that's definitely something that happens that it's almost impossible to train not to do. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, be on the lookout for that if you start training parkour too. Or if you do parkour, maybe you haven't slipped in a while when you're doing your tucks. But hey, it could happen tonight or tomorrow or whatever your next session is. So just be thinking about it in the back of your mind a little bit. Okay, I think I'm gonna try onto the uh, memory foam only. The most copyrighted song in anime right now. I can't do it. I literally can't do it. I'm just gonna keep practicing. This is sad, but I'm just not in that right state of mind. Very, 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 very sad times. Just for that, I'm gonna drill 10 to the white one. And yeah, that's my punishment. And then we're gonna go for another challenge. I can just let myself think about this for today.
Okay, so next I'm going to clean up the yard a little bit here and put some stuff away. Uh, roll the logs back to the back, and then we're gonna try some some flat ground stuff and some TDR swing throughs. I don't know how good I'll be able to do them on the grass today, but I really, really like that TDR almost swing through that I did at Apex the other day. So I really would like to practice some more, no matter what. And I'm sure if I practice them on the grass today, next time I go to Tempest or Apex, they'll be that much easier. So that's the goal. not doing the best but I'm having a lot of fun so I'm gonna get some fluids in me and then we're gonna continue. The ground is a little bit uneven and I'm trying to just feel it out and make sure I can really trust it when it needs, when the time comes to it. Even if I don't get one today, I'm going to practice, uh, I'm going to practice getting it. Uh, I'm going to practice the TDR mostly, but a quick backflip after it as well if I can't swing through. And yeah, pretty soon I'm going to start trying to swing through a little bit more. It's hard to progress in TDRs, I guess. You just got to keep trying. the gap slowly but surely all right let's keep going my goal is to get a swing through of any type right before I finish before I finish this session just gotta get some kind of a swing through if I have a flip after good whatever but whatever okay no I actually could have swung through on that but I'm not used to feeling a good TDR swing through. So I stopped it automatically. Like, I was like, oh, I could swing through and I had already stopped it. <laughs> but that was a good one. I need to look back at that footage. All right, that one was ugly as all heck, but I can see how I could have swung through it. So the swing felt better even though the TDR itself was trash, utter trash. But I would really like to get one. Whether it's trash or not, I don't even care. I do care, but I don't care. I just want to get a swing through gainer, okay? That's my goal. Give it one last try with one last song and then I'm done. Right when I started getting them and making breakthroughs, <laughs> I was already out of memory and none of it was filmed. So I deleted a three minute video, guys, uh, and I uninstalled Instagram. <laughs> Alright, 
so let's go. Let's see what we can do. I gotta get one. I'm giving myself one more song to get one. Let's do this. I put my foot down, but I told you I was making strength there, right? Nope, that was a bad one. I can stop on one leg and hop and swing through. If I could just get a good one, it'd be game over. Ah, I keep touching, come on. Last one. Well, I hope the next one's a good one. If the next one's a good one, it's the last one. If not, one more. No! Oh no! How many minutes? Six seconds? Yeah, right. Okay, I had some stuff I was supposed to delete that I forgot to, but I deleted it now, so let's get this. Ah, oh, come on! Okay, this is really the last song because I'm dead. So guys, take notice of this because I was already dead and the night was about to be very long. So keep that in mind as you watch the rest of this video because I had to persevere like an anime character. Might not even be able to do another one. Done. Oh, this is gonna be nuts. Yo. Oh, look at Julian, y'all. Is he vlogging or what? Yeah. Let's go. It's a big thing, but like my leg hurt after yesterday. Old school. So I, I used to use feet. those. But if Nice. Nice. Dude, I want to see him throw a backflip in the weights. That'd be so sick. Little update here. Alright, guys.
guys, this is so hype. It's like so insanely hype. All right guys, the energy here is nuts. But uh, I'm gonna try to throw a triple for my, my first triple on a trampoline. Yo, that's so sick. I actually got it. I gotta land it now. That's nuts. Oh, that was dialed. Yo, Jake. I'm gonna have that. Huh? No. That's the first time I've ever tried. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah. I've never gone past a double until just now. <laughs> My aerial awareness was trash when I came in here, but I'm already throwing triples for the first time. I'm pretty stoked. I gotta say, I'm pretty stoked. The energy tonight is insane. So close. I think I just burned my knees on the airbag though, but whatever. They don't feel that hard. I thought it would be a lot worse. It feels pretty natural actually. I haven't landed it yet, but uh, give me some time. The goal here is a TDR swing through cork and a cart double pull. That's our goal for tonight. Oh my gosh, look at this beauty. Cheers! I work for AirTrack. I do basically all their, all their multimedia across the board. Um, dude, thanks for coming out. This is like, this is sweet. You really don't get to play with something this size pretty much anywhere. Luckily, uh, the guys here at Tempest have an amazing facility and the space uh, to actually house something like this. We have christened it. I'm gonna warm up a little bit, and when I get the, when I get calibrated to the bounciness and whatever and the stiffness, I will check in again. All right, I'm just gonna film. I'm gonna try to knock out some round off backs, round off sides, round off fulls, uh, some scoot full, uh, scoot stuff, etc. Standing full, whatever. I think Cameron's gonna unleash her full potential on this thing. I can't wait to see it. I'm gonna film as much as I can. working on the TDRs. This DDR swing there. So 
still got a ways to go. I think James is about to hit the dub, the dub back. Pretty good, but I still touch it. <laughs> I just straight up did a TDR swing there. <laughs> that was a good one too, dude. That was dope. I'm getting better pushing back off the ground, but to straighten my body back up to go for the swing. James is getting ready. Yeah! yeah. Woo! Woo! Yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. Let's go! <laughs> Oh! Oh! Michael! No! Michael! Oh. Oh. This guy just dropped out of nowhere. <laughs> Yay! I'm just forcing them. I'm forcing them so hard. I'm doing like a master scoot. It's so crazy. <laughs> Back head spring. <laughs> Nice. James is ambidextrous tricker. He's actually the one who got me into being ambidextrous for my parkour and free running. Right here. Pull one way, pull the other. I want to get one more good one, then I'm going to switch to round off dub bowls onto the mat. Alright, if I don't get one on this next attempt, I'm going to move on to something else for now. Yo, Kalen's trying to throw double fronts, that's savage. I just felt out a one and a half, a uh, round off one, one half, and uh, felt pretty alright. I'm just trying to go a little more than a... Uh, then a one, so I'm gonna possibly go for some doubles. If I can get a good block and a good cart, <clears throat> I'm gonna try some double pulls. land it without the mat. The mat going up is actually kind of like frustrating a little bit. I want to go back and try some, try some triples on the tramp and then we'll come back around.
I don't know. I felt like I was pulling a trip. That, there's no way that was three and a half. I know that much. I just need to hold it a little bit longer. Crud. All right. My back's starting to hurt, so I'll try one more, and that's it. Actually, now I want to try it again. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Trip. Uh, this is going to be my true last one, or else I'm going to pinch it over my back. I don't know. Hey guys, while well, I was charging my phone because it's only at like 10%, not good because I got to drive home and I don't know the exact directions. When I wasn't filming, I did a master scoot swing through. First master scoot I've ever tried, instant swing through, and I did it a few more times, so now I want to show you guys. What is going on right now? Like. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, I'll try I'll try a cork out of a master scoot and if I die I die. We'll see what happens. I'll do my best. They call me Antenna, you know that's my nickname. Do I look like anyone? That was actually insanely easy. What the heck? That's actually the easiest thing I've ever done. I, in my mind, I'm like, do I even do a dork? What the heck? It's mayhem here. It's actually mayhem.
dead. Everyone's dead now, except James. Okay guys, I'm in a session more with the homies and that's a goodbye from Tempest.